What's up, world? It's Clean, and you are now tuned into The Scoop on Air with Ashley Marie and Lindy Ann on MorrisMediaLive.com. Keep it locked. Hey, yes. happy Wednesday. What's Wednesday up, guys? y'all? We're back. You are tuned into The Scoop with Ashley Marie and Lindy Wynn. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Welcome. We are your one stop for all things love, lifestyle, relationships, and we are glad to be here tonight. Um, we have a jam-packed show tonight. We can't wait to uh, fill you guys in on all the exciting things that are going on yes. here in the studio. Um, Linda. Yes, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Uh, I'm actually not that sick anymore. I know last week I was super Linda was, sick. On, I was on lean. lean. I was on that lean last, last week. Last week she was a little Still, uh, uh, tipsy. I'm not on that lean any, anymore. Okay. I'm just a little sick, but you know, I'm getting there. I'm you sound better. I do. Thank you, you had a good Easter weekend? Yeah, you know what? It was did relaxing. Did you flirt with the Easter bunny? Um, I think you did. I saw I some, some I saw no, some kidding. suspect <laughs> Snapchats this weekend. Hey. Uh-huh. You're funny. So <laughs> what did you do? Stories. What did you do for Easter, Ash? I, you know, I um I kind of just spent some me time. I, I didn't do yeah. anything real significant. Sometimes that's needed. Though. That is needed. I took advantage of the holiday. I had some ice cream and I had some pizza. I hope. Oh yeah. I hope uh, Alicia and Johanna's uh, Harrison aren't watching <laughs> because they're my fitness coaches. Yes. Uh, but any at any rate, uh, we have a special guest here Woo! in studio. Um, special guest and artist. An artist. He's an artist. He's an actor. Um, the whole show. Oh, what, what else? A, it, a, he does it all. Could, He's a pro wrestler. Whoa, whoa I didn't know yeah, that one. Yeah, I'm out injured right all. now, but yeah. Yeah, he wow. works with the children. He works with the children. He works yeah. with the children. He loves the children. I love the, the children. Kids. As long as they're not mine, I'm good. You guys, help me welcome to the scoop. Mr. Neeson Williams. He ain't a government. Ain't nobody say my name like that. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I, I, I feel like I can say that. <laughs> you can. We I mean, that's different. Yeah, back. like thir- 13, 15 years. That's yeah, a long that's time. Yeah, that's a long time. Wow. I thought about that today. That long. As I put on my jacket, I'm like, oh, wow. That's, that's really long. Dang. We've known each other for like 15 years. 13, 15 years, yeah. 13, 15. 13, 15 years. <laughs> now, how long years. has it been since you guys have run into each other? Or talk to each other. Uh, Maybe like four years? Yeah. Like four wow, years. Still some time. Yeah, yeah. yeah like four, four years. years. Yeah. I, f- I feel like it's been shorter. Over a friend. Yeah, I, over a friend's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. That's yeah. right. Oh, a lot yeah, changes four in four years. You what? A lot changes in four years. Yeah, um, I just got a beard. That was the only thing. Hey, and you, got, you didn't have locks last time I, I saw you. I didn't have, like, they're oh, locks no. now, but yeah. You didn't have that. Yeah. yeah. Did, did uh, so someone inspire you to get those? No, I actually wanted locks in high school, but oh. um, I I knew the real definition behind locks. And, right. You know, to, to lock up thing, when you cut them, it's a rebirth type of thing. Um, so I wanted to, uh, I was going through. I wanted to do it for a real reason, not just for style. In high school, it was all about style. Okay. Yeah. So I used to talk about all my friends that had locks. So like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> a friend, I would say, because he only knew one person that had locks. Yeah. So, well, they look good. Thank you. Uh, there be um, cut soon. But thank you. You all grown up. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> what thing, wrestling and acting. Yeah, and yeah. Wrestling, acting. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this music you guys heard of, uh, Mad City? Yes. Yeah, okay. the the play. There's yeah. a play called Mad Cities. That's the play I'm in, a musical. Um, nice. Yeah, nice. so put on by CBG. It's actually down the street. Right down the street. Congratulations. Yeah, right the street. yeah so um, yes. they're... Nice man, doing big things. Those, those, those actors, they're real actors. I'm just... I just studied improv. Like, they're like real Methodist actors. Oh, so okay. They keep me on my toes. That's good. No, you definitely need to be yeah. around that. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You need to be around they're that. They're amazing, singing so, and acting and dancing. Yeah, so we'll definitely get more into yeah. what you have going on. Thank oh, you for yeah. joining us. No, thank you for having me. It's a it's a beautiful thing sitting next to you know beautiful talented lovely ladies. Thank uh, who you. Could say no. Like, what the Aww. Aww. Man, that's so sweet. I, I had that. to Stop I had it. to slide in the DM. Like <laughs> I, mean, I had the same like, number since high school. <laughs> like I, like when people be like sliding my DM, like I had the same number. Like it's the same joint. Yeah, that's the I just yeah. all I have is a new beard. That's it. That's, that's it. Only thing that's, that's, changed. that's the only thing that's changed. A new beard and You're probably funny. like muscle mass. That's the same. Do, that's do you get a lot of like? Do you get and I'm playing off of this song with uh, yeah. Yogati. Yeah. But do you get a lot of chicks sliding in your DMs? Um, I get interesting things in my DMs. Do you? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, I mean, so your DM is lit? Nah, I wouldn't say lit because I know people's DM that's like legit lit. Like, uh-huh. like, sending like videos it's, oh. I know, y'all know, like I know people DM like that like my DM isn't on a scale of that but I just get interesting DMs it's either it, it's either hey I, 
you know, like, I really like the way you look and the things you do, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Or it's like, hey, um, I got this opportunity. <laughs> like, it, it's more so to, like, I'm usually expecting the opportunities. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, so it's all, it's, it's, it's PG. Either, yeah, it's, it's very PG-13 as in, in our. We want some what's, what's stories. <laughs> it's R. <laughs> it's I guess it's, it'll TMZ. be R. It can't, it can't teeter to R. Yeah, it's either PG-13 or R. That's okay. Okay. So it's right in the middle. It's either like or. in the in, in okay. between. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't, I don't have That's any, right. uh, any M rated joints unfortunately oh, yeah man his dm is, is yeah my dry. dm but snapchat is a different uh, <laughs> oh, that's a different story okay. yeah man i can't be telling i can't tell oh, okay. like that I can't right. tell. <laughs> we're gonna talk oh, about we're Snapchat. Gonna, but, yeah we're gonna we're get gonna it out of you later yeah we'll get it out of you yeah okay. you will be uh giving us the scoop today oh man i'm open book day. i'm open book <laughs> all right well thanks for joining us oh, decent no we really appreciate it um, again, you're tuned into the scoop. Thank you all very, very much, uh, Linda. Why don't we get into our first segment? You are bringing us the. Well, I guess we could take a break. Yeah, let's take a let's, let's take a quick break. Okay, all right, guys. Um, so yes. we're gonna get into who's this? Mac Wild. Mike Wild. I love this song, guys. This is Love in the '90s. Oh, so enjoy you the like, first song. You're guys. familiar with this? I'm f- I'm familiar with Mac Wilds. Oh wow! It's, is he your friend? Uh, like industry friend. It, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Enjoy the song, guys. <laughs> Enjoy the song. Love right back. The record's amazing. All right. <laughs> Hey, that was 
that's cute. I love that song. I like that song, Mac Wilds, if you're listening. It has like a um, an old school feel to it. Yeah, me. love in the 90s. Yes. Yeah, the whole project is dope. You like, Okay, so you're the familiar whole with it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's dope. I All like right. it. All right. And you are a mu- musician, so. <laughs> For those of you who just tuned in, you're now tuned into live on air. You're on the scoop on air. My name is Linda Yin. With and Ashley I am Marie Ashley here. Marie here in special. studio. Our special guest is Mr. Neeson Williams. Can we call you Neeson? What do you want me to call you? I mean, you can just call me Neeson. Neeson. I just feel like Neeson Williams is it's so like, very, like, like you're in school again. <laughs> First of all, nobody calls me Neeson, right? Okay. So it's just so weird what do they to call hear my you name. Then? I don't know. I just rarely hear my name. That's like, so literally weird. like people. So do they just? They say like, "Hey." They make up different. Like some people like, have hey, different names. Hey. Like it's not nah, hey, never, hey, but <laughs> but like you know like uh, well, Gold Craig Rocks. Craig calls me C, and then um my my mentors, my producing mentors, call me Noodles and Noodles. <laughs> um, I have nicknames everywhere I that go. That is so that's funny. funny. So they call you Ramen, like Ramen. No, I'm but kidding. that's yeah, like that's why he calls me <laughs> Ramen. Really? Because so you know, funny. like couple Noodle ramen name noodles. is Neeson. Oh so, yeah, yeah. 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 It's oh, clever. that's so funny. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> See, plus I'm like stringy. You know, you're well, stringy. I'm lingy. Oh, you're yeah. okay. Linky. All right. Like a noodle. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Ramen. That stuff. It's <laughs> little. We'll call him that for the night. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Neeson cool. Names. Yeah. So Neeson in the house. <laughs> Hashtag scoop. Hashtag scoop. <laughs> All right. So we are going to get into our um, next part of the show, which is uh, Lady Linda Yin bringing us all the good news yes, in the world Wednesday. of sports. Yes. Wednesday night scoop ball, guys. We just have to kick it off with some March Madness, right? Mm. Nisa Again. told me earlier that he loves sports, so I, love I need sports, your comments yes. on everything. Okay, Absolutely. Nisa, here we go. How about the final four? Uh, North yeah. Carolina. It's their 19th appearance in the final four, guys, mm-hmm. which is the most in NCAA history. There are They are in the ACC Conference champions. These guys are ranked number one mm-hmm. in the NCAA tournament and number two in offense in all college basketball. These guys are trouble. So Syracuse, you guys better be prepared uh, for a fight this week. I was weekend. about to say, like, they're not gonna beat they're not gonna beat the Q's though. You don't think so? Nah. Why? Because Syracuse Syracuse is that Syracuse is that team that they're hungry. Like they they were suspended for like last year, I think. Uh-huh. So like this year they're just focused. You can see it. They, they have they, something to prove. You know what's yeah. crazy? What's crazy? They they're labeled the unsympathetic underdog. Right, right, right. Right? Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is that they actually lost their first four games, mm-hmm. right? And they made it. Yeah. So they are the first team to ever lose the first four and, and actually still make, it into, make it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That is. I, I think. I think it's gonna be. Um. I think Syracuse is definitely gonna beat North Carolina. You think so? Yeah. Oh. My friend who was at home listening right now was not happy. Oh, uh, sorry, Tar Heel. Yeah, fans. she's a. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yep. So that's that. And then also Villanova. Villanova Wildcats are in it. Okay. I, I like Villanova because that's my hometown. Oh, I'm okay. from Philadelphia. Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, I hate you Villanova. Know, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, and it's not even nothing. To do. It's, it's, it, I, calm down. I'm calm sorry. Down. He's a guest. Every, He's time a guest. I, every time I think of Villanova, I just think of like, <clears throat> I just think of this like light skinned, bald, buff. Guy, and I, you don't it, think it, of a he was a player. Cat? No, never. I didn't even know you guys were called I'm Wildcats. Thanks. You. I just remember the Big B. Like I'm like Villanova. Like you guys are always in it though. Like all the time. Yeah. So congratulations. I just hope you guys Thank lose. Thank you. Uh, they're number four in offense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. N- number seven in defense seven. points per possession. Uh-huh. Mind you, they haven't made it to, to the final four since 2009, but it's okay. Yeah. They're here now. Okay. And they're going against Oklahoma Sooners. Are you in Oklahoma? You Oklahoma. And, and have you seen Oklahoma? Oklahoma some big boys. They've been they've been they playing. Are, they are. I, I'm honestly They're going for Q's in Oklahoma for the for the for the finals. All right. Yeah. We'll okay. see what happens. Well, we'll see this week on what happens between those four teams. Next, we are going to move on to the Falcons. Moving on to some other news. We all know the feeling of reaching into your pocket, uh-huh. right? Into your jeans or jacket and finding some money, you know, $5, $20. Some if, lint. Or if you ever go, um, <laughs> you go to the laundromat, you throw your laundry in, and when you take that clothes out of the dryer, you find like a $5 bill. Don't the, you get excited? The yeah. Gods. Well, let me tell the you, the Falcons, like the Falcons linebacker Sean Weatherspoon's fiance mm-hmm. recently found an uncashed six figure game check mm-hmm. lying around the house from 2015. Time wow. Out. Yeah, time, time out. Yes. From 2015. Uncashed. Six figure check. They're not getting direct deposit? Right. No, no that part. Check. 
Like, why are like you getting, paper why are you getting game she checks check. in 2015? It, it's crazy, right? The point, Nisa. Yeah, they should be like that's the that's the issue right here. It's not yeah. it's not her finding it later right, and right, like right. they didn't notice it. The what? problem is that they need to begin direct deposit. Yeah, you know, and, I, and the second I problem agree. is that they weren't missing that six figure check. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. Like they well, was like, oh, on. I found a five dollar check. It's a game. You gotta check. look at this. Man makes one point two five million. That that's his bonus when he signed with the Cardinals, right? And he made two point three five million. That's his base salary yeah. in twenty fifteen. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so, so he wasn't really worried about that. Right, right, right. And of course, you know, she finds out. Like, oh, I'm about to I'm go, go shopping. shopping. Exactly. Let me hit up That's all my I girls. <laughs> so you you need to deposit that. Yeah, that didn't need to direct <laughs> so deposit. That's that, his fault. That check was actually worth about one hundred and thirty eight thousand guys. This okay. So yes. what happened? What did they do with it? Of course, they're depositing it now. No, I know. Did but she they use just it for anything special? It. No, well, we haven't. They haven't gotten there. Yet. Okay, they just found it. <laughs> they got to, they yeah, haven't. They found we it. We bought uh, two pairs of shoes. <laughs> um, no. I guess we can and follow them on Instagram and see if they've been buying things right. Now. I okay. know. On to some more news. Several days ago. A video was tweeted out mm-hmm. by a gossip website that showed Nick Young, oh. who got engaged Uh-oh. to pop star, who got engaged to pop star Iggy Azalea last year, Uh-oh. briefly discussing cheating on Azalea with a 19-year-old. Uh, that part, that? Though. Anybody hear about that? Fam, fam, you don't. That's you, you broke rule number like it's crazy thirty nine. Yeah, that's rule number one. I mean, it's not even a rule. It's so the first code you just don't. It's not even in a number book. Like you just don't yeah, do you that. Don't do exactly. That. Really you don't do that. Even though it seemed like, uh, it, it seems like to me, it was a uh, can I get him to to can I get him to admit something. For somebody, I'm not saying Iggy. I think it was like for his boy. I think it was like for his boys, and it was like on some like oh like joke stuff. But you just don't do it. Like you don't. You don't record it. You delete it. Like you never have the evidence. But what would be his motive for wanting to? I guess force him to not force him, but get him to admit something. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, that's why. Boys. That's why I think it was like, oh, I bet you I could get him because he kept harping on the point she was 19, right? Mm. First of all, she was legal. That's she was in a club. Uh-oh. She he's was a- legal. So, <laughs> so she, in, in the he's video, a- in the video, he says like, hey, right. like, oh, but she's 19. He's like, it was, no, nobody checking for IDs. Like, exactly. it was, like, it was after the club. Like, right. and so my thing was either a he has like this like moral thing like well you shouldn't be cheating on your wife and I'm gonna record you or it was a joke like did he yo let's see if he really is gonna admit he took down this chick right you know it was like a boy thing but my thing is you just you don't do that like right. so, in no way shape or form so, so for those of you who didn't watch the video mm-hmm. what happened was he's reporting um, I'm sorry uh, D'Angelo Russell mm-hmm. is caught re- secretly recording mm-hmm. Swaggy P right confessed to you know, um, sleeping with a 19-year-old after the club. Right. right. And right after the video, he says, thanks for saying that in my video, and the video cuts off. Exactly. So that's what, you know, there's rumors actually going around saying that maybe he was paid for that. Maybe mm. he was paid but that's even to worse. record the video. Exactly. Yeah, that's you, like, you're like the, super lame. Like the and Lakers you're already making good money. Like the Lakers are going to have to trade Oh, well, yeah, because it's, it's it's messing up the team camaraderie. Yeah. And, and nobody's going yeah, to play it. with him. Yeah. yeah. You know, and recent reports actually show, stated that they're not. They're not messing with him. Oh yeah. They are not sitting at. They had a, a recent breakfast meeting. They they're not sitting at his table. Yeah. And in the locker room, he went to go set sit next to. Is it Lou Williams? I think it was. He went to go sit next Lou? to a player. Yeah. And he got up and walked away. Yeah. Oh they my gosh. They're you, shunning I mean, him. Even, you, but you, you know what? It it's a shame because everything they're going through. I mean, Kobe. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're trying to savor. You know, this last, last minute of his yeah. retirement. Yeah. And then this comes out and about. You, yeah. You know the crazy part about it is they. They're so, um, they suck so bad, right? I'm a diehard like fan. They suck so bad this year <laughs> that this news actually came out a week ago, right? Like uh-huh. TMZ posted it a week ago, uh-huh, uh-huh. but they're not on the main, like nobody cares about the Lakers so much right, right, right. that it took this long for it to for it actually out. make news, yeah. right? Like Gilbert Arenas's ex-wife like even said something about it. She was like, yeah, like they're not going to trust him. Like it's always a wrap for yeah. him. You know, like it, it, it's that serious. Like I, the Lakers are going to yeah. have to trade him. And you know, it's, it's sad too, because if you look at it, he's young. Mm-hmm. The guy's 20 years old. Yeah. He's living, he's learning. And uh, but you, I mean, yeah, he but really, that's he really you don't really up. need to Kobe, learn. Kobe yeah. snitched, but Kobe's Kobe, right? Like Kobe was snitching and going out and scoring 50, 60 points a game. Yeah, you snitching and averaging thirteen uh, points, bro. Yeah. Like it's not the same. Like it's you gotta not. go, you gotta it's go. It's not. Yeah. It's really not the same. It's sad. 
So let's talk about my boy Reggie. Reggie Jackson. Oh, it's like Reggie. For the, yeah. For those <laughs> Which of you Reggie? who missed the game, the Detroit Pistons' victory over Oklahoma City Thunder mm-hmm. on Tuesday caused Reggie Jackson <laughs> yep. to celebrate and play it up for the home crowd by skipping around the court and closing this, this, the last seconds of the game, asking the Piston fans to make some noise. Mm-hmm. So you know what? They did it. And they did a lot of it. They just, you, you saw it, right? And they kept going, they kept, kept going. going, and they kept going. And when mm-hmm. he did this, it annoyed former teammate Steve Adams, yeah, Adams Russell Westbrook. Yes, their faces were priceless. Really? Yes. Yeah. Immediately after, Adams spoke with Jackson about it, and Westbrook expressed his animosity about Jackson's celebration to the reporter, stating, I thought it was some real BS yeah. you know, for our team and our organization. I don't like it at all, but it is what it is. We'll see him down the line. We'll take care of that when we get there. Well, what do you think about it? What do you think about what he did? Do you think it's wrong? Well, I don't think it's wrong. One, because he doesn't like he doesn't like Oklahoma City. Okay. Right? He wanted he wanted to be a star and he wanted a he wanted a primary role and they was like, no, you know, they had Russell. Mm-hmm. So when he left, he became he was a star. He was a star. And yeah. so he just wanted to prove that from from the jump. And Russell always shunned him off. And I'm like last time they played or something, like it was a thing where Russell didn't, didn't shake his hand. Mm-hmm. And he went up shaking hand. And Russell just like brushed him off. So I mean, I mean, so you can't. You, you see where the animosity. Yeah, you can't. You can't be mad at jump. that. Yeah. yeah, it started from jump. And he yeah. won. I think, you know, I think they're just. It's clear that they're, they're being upset. haters. Yeah, they're upset. They lost. He wasn't anything Aww. there. He's Stop over crying. here, and now he's doing. Yeah. Good. Stop crying. You lost. Mm-hmm. Like that's what it was. It was like. You're in his hometown, and and you could hear the Thunder fans in the arena booing as he was doing this. That's what really sucked. Like to me, I'm like, dang, you. They're like, oh, and you're like, boo. I'm like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I mean, yeah, it was it was a it was a weird it was a weird event. So that completes our scoop ball news scoop for ball. this Wednesday night. Thank you, Linda, yes, for that ma'am. wonderful uh, montage of uh, news yeah. in the world of sports. We appreciate it. Why don't we move on to some scoop news? Gosh, yeah, Marie. So this, yes, of course. Okay, That's what's going on in the world of news? So, as we have all heard, um, the unfortunate news about R&B singer Kalani. Come and see me. Yeah, she was so devastated recently over rumors that she cheated on her NBA boyfriend Kyrie Irving that she actually attempted suicide Monday night thankfully she was okay she ended up uh, you know making it making it through Mm -hmm. Uh, but apparently she posted about the ordeal on Instagram and she stated that she wanted to leave the earth being completely selfish for once Um, never thought she would get to such a low point Um, now before the event um, the social media world was very, I'd say, brutal towards her. Um, after a picture surfaced of her and her ex-boyfriend, the party next door. Holding and hands. And they were holding hands in bed. I, I mean, the, the, the picture's viral. But they were holding hands in bed. And for those of you who saw the video, or saw the picture, her hand is very distinctive because she has um, a certain tattoo. Right, right, right. So everyone knew that it was her. And um, the party next door also put um, a caption underneath the picture saying basically he kind of got the R&B singer back, in his Kalani, bed. in his bed. In his bed. So um, that caused a lot of heat because the world knew that she was with Kyrie Irving. Mm-hmm. Now, um, she claims that she never cheated on Kyrie Irving and that they had already broken up and she had gotten back together with um, the party next door. She said, quote, I am not a cheater, a thought, and I'm a believer in following your heart and and not lying to yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, Kalani also credits the party next door for saving her life, and she believes that God saved her for a reason. So... Mm -hmm. I'm glad she's doing better. I'm glad she's... That's sad. I think it was just too much pressure for her. Like, maybe maybe she wasn't cheating on Kyrie Irving and just the whole media attention that she was getting after she just wasn't equipped to handle it at that time. So, thankfully, um, Party Next Door kind of, kind of you know, saved her life. Neeson, you are giving me a mean (laughs) side eye right now, and I don't know why. I feel like you are thinking a lot Uh, right now, but you're trying not to say anything, but I'm going to pull it out of you. Pull it out of you. It's a a lot of factors to the story. Like, first of all, like, I mean, suicide um, is is a serious thing. It is. It's huge. I... I've witnessed, I mean, I've talked somebody down from committing suicide. Mm-hmm. Um, I've known people that have taken their own life from suicide. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of, when I see Instagram posts about it, mm-hmm. it, it makes me 
wonder. Like, yeah, it makes me wonder what's it for. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm not saying that she didn't actually. One thing, it's either committing suicide or it's not. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Like it. If you want to kill yourself, you're going to kill yourself. Mm-hmm. Like there is no. There's no gray area. Yeah, there's no gray area. There's, oh, I want to hurt myself so I could feel like, so I could feel like loved again. Now, there's that. Okay. But, um... I mean, yeah, the internet. But do you was think? Brutal. Do you think that she was she was seeking that? Like, okay, everyone's no, coming against I think, me. I mean, I think I once think. she, I think once she was a twenty year old, she's she's only twenty years old, mm-hmm. right? So when you're twenty, you think the world is like out to get you, and uh-huh. she has this big spotlight on her. She doesn't know how to handle things. So, and the internet killed her yeah. in a matter of yeah. like two hours they did. right but you yeah. know what that that just shows how human she is oh yeah no matter how much fame you have no matter how popular you are you know, how big of a celebrity Abs- you are it makes her so human yeah, you and have she's an amazing artist I, I, de- I definitely agree and i i think it's just um it's a that's what it's, it's so many factors to it so it's hard to really like i can't say i can't condemn her for doing that only thing i'm like yo just I understand you're honest and, and you put everything out there, but you got to watch, like, all you're doing is open up more doors for exactly. you to... Like, I, when she deleted her Instagram, I was okay with that. I'm like, cool, delete it, go away. Because if that was to happen to me, if I was in her shoes and I got back with my ex and she posted something on Instagram and the, the Instagram, I call it Black Twitter, Black Twitter attacked ha. me, you know what I'm saying? So I would be, I would delete all my social media and fall back for a while just because I don't want that in my, I don't want to see it on my phone. Yeah. I don't want to see my friend in it. Like, I will fall back. It's definitely not healthy. Yeah, and I think she, I, I think she tried. But the minute I seen that Instagram post of her saying, like, I was like, yo, like, don't do that because now you have you're opening the door again mm. right. to that. And if you're already sensitive to that, or if you're already sensitive to the situation in the first place, now you're allowing millions of people to attack you because they feel that you're doing it for attention. Attention, yeah. You know, and it's it's one of those things where you got to know where to close the door and when to open it. Yeah. You know, even though you're that honest and that real artist, at the same time, you got to know when to pull it back. And if that, whatever that situation is, like we've been, I mean, I've been in that situation where you're with somebody else and you're still in love with your ex. And if that person, she said Kyrie was her best friend and she told him like, yo, like this isn't going, you know what I'm in and I got to go back to him. Right. Then do that. But you have to be mindful that you are in a public eye. Yeah. Yes. So be careful, you know, like, right. and not be careful because of other people, but be careful because of you. Yeah. Like this is, this, this is your soul that you're protecting your sanity. Exactly. And I think she's at 20, like I said, she's 20. So it's hard to know that, mm-hmm. but, um, I'm happy she learned it at 20 and not at, you know, 30. Yeah. Right. Right. Because right. it's a she, different situation. Yeah. I've listened to her album. I'm not sure if anyone, if you've listened to yeah. her album, but I listened to her entire album and in her introduction, in her introduction track, her mm-hmm. intro track, she actually talks about her life and the fact that she's gone through so much, even before the age of eighteen. She has. So you she's look at that, and you look at now, and you see why she's doing what she's doing. She's she went through it. She went through yeah. a lot, and that's you know? and her outlet is the music. So and, you, and she's still going through it. I just tell everybody, protect your sanity, man. It's not it's not worth it. Like uh, Instagram post. Uh, nothing. Like, none of that is worth it. I'm sure party next door. He learned that too. It's like. All that, all the attention stuff is not worth it over your sanity. Like, you, you it's, were so it's right not. about that, Like, I, I tell everybody that, like, yo, you just chill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Relax. Hashtag chill. Like, yeah, yeah think, think for one, before you press think send, just you think. Post. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> think, because you, because you open in a door and then, yeah. and then you getting all these knives at you and then what? You know, yeah. like, we've, I mean, I've been, I've been there. Like, I know where she's been at. Like, I've been not, I've been there. And you don't want to, that's because you open the doors, you know? So don't open those doors anymore. Amen to that. All right. Well, moving right along, for all of you Housewives fans or Atlanta Housewives fans, there's some trouble in paradise for Real Housewives star Cynthia Bailey and her husband, Peter Thomas, unfortunately. Apparently, the couple have been having have been living separate lives because they're having some uh, marital issues. Cynthia has been uh, living in Atlanta in their home and Peter in North Carolina where he has his bar, bar one, his club slash bar, bar one. Um, apparently, the couple have been having uh, problems over the years in and things have kind of just progressed. Um, in a recent statement Cynthia uh, gave about her marriage, she said, quote, we are not in a great place. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen right now. We're still trying to figure it out. We're the only real married couple on The Housewives, and um, and we've never been married outside of the show. So I don't know um, if that helped out a lot. So she's kind of 
saying in a roundabout way that it may have been, you know, because of the show that that uh, their marriage is kind of on the rocks. So they met on the show and got married on the show? She met him. She met him, if if I remember correctly, she met him like right before she started filming the show. Oh, okay. So, well, actually, no, no, no. She met him um, prior to filming the show. Oh, okay. And then she ended up moving to Atlanta to be with him. Mm. And then they ended up getting married and, and their relationship kind of progressed from there. So they've never been an actual married couple outside of being on the show. Wow. Okay. They were together at together as a couple outside of the show, but never married. So that that they say that reality shows are kind of <laughs> like they're cursed to relationships. So it's terrible. Like, unfortunately, their reality shows and relationships don't don't mix. mix. Yeah, don't. It, it, it is not even because of like it can't happen. It's because of if we're having a conversation right here, right? Mm-hmm. We're talking. Mm-hmm. We're just having a normal conversation, and mm-hmm. it's, it's the mic didn't pick up on something. Right. So it's like okay, stop. Reset. Can you say that again? Right. So now our yeah. So now our conversations aren't being real, Mm -hmm. and it's being you know it's being yeah it's being staged staged and and contrived, and it's hard. Like you can't have a relationship where you know you just you're just trying to have a regular communication with somebody, and they're like stop. You're like oh my god. Or what about if you're like telling somebody off? Yeah. And like, hold on. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you gotta you gotta start your uh, <laughs> your cussing out session all over. <laughs> yeah, you gotta th- you gotta <laughs> cut you off your a, mic. How you live or, that moment? <laughs> well, I mean, the, the best thing. I mean, if you if anybody out there ever is on a reality show, um, cuss as much as possible, and they won't put you on TV. And oh <laughs> wow, these yeah, things are good. So, good tips. Um, <laughs> or you can click off your mic in the back and. You know, you they can't. Like, hear they're what like, saying. "What? We didn't get anything yeah. on." So, yeah. I mean, there, there are there are tricks in the trade like that, but I mean, it's it's tough. Like, you can't have a relationship and in, in be in reality shows. I, yeah. I honestly feel that. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Well, best of luck to uh, Cynthia and Peter. I actually really like them. Yeah, they're a nice couple. Well, so they seem that way at least. Um, now, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> this this thing is crazy. Okay, so Dave Chappelle has um, had a sold out show at the Holly, Hollywood Palladium recently, mm-hmm. um, and his most recent show he went in on Caitlyn Jenner, mm-hmm. <laughs> which not not a big deal. But the problem was with this particular show was uh, Kylie Jenner, who is Caitlyn's daughter, and her boyfriend Tyga uh, were in the audience in their VIP seats. <laughs> So um, this was Dave Chappelle's third sold out show at the Palladium. And um, so Dave, you know, he's going in. He's doing this thing. Uh-oh. He said, oh, let me tell you a couple things that he said. He said that um, he's old enough to remember when Bruce Jenner was was uh, beating, out Afri- beating out Africans mm-hmm. in the Olympics in the 70s. And uh, he also went on to joke about uh, a run-in with Kanye West. Now, I don't know how true this is. It's a joke. He's on stage, so he could have made it up. But he said that he had a run-in with Kanye West, and he asked Kanye, like, why the long face? And Kanye replied, man, you'll see soon. So he was kind of talking about the whole situation before Caitlyn Jenner turned into Caitlyn Jenner, when Caitlyn Jenner was still Bruce Jenner. Now, the whole time, you know, the audience is, like, dying laughing, Poor Kylie Tiger is sitting there dying. with a straight face. Like, she did not think any of it was funny. Well, Tiger was family, laughing. Of course yeah. you won't. But Tiger, your boyfriend is laughing. Like, he's not funny. I would have... Like, really? It's You're Dave on Chappelle. my side. You know what Dave Chappelle's playing. Lisa, he <laughs> plays funny. around. Like, okay, okay. But if it's... If I was... If I was Kylie Jenner and I'm sitting there you know all the things that you know your your father went through and yeah. so you know it's in the public eye so you can't be well, I mean you could be sensitive to an extent but at the end of the day it's comedy you go there to laugh you, you go there to laugh and you know like it's, um, it's, it's right. no comedian that's not gonna make a joke about Kylie Jenner but she's young and I'm sure it's a sore subject for her. Yeah, that's, that's sad. That's thing. so sad. It's sad for her. It's funny for us. She is young, but I mean, she's also, she's a lot, she's more mature than what people yeah. think. Yeah. Like, she she knows. She's exposed to she a lot. She business. has to. You know? Yeah, like, she has to. She has yeah, to. She, she's exposed to, maybe, unfortunately, a it lot. It could be that she just wasn't ready for it. It, pro- yeah, it probably, yeah, it probably caught her off caught guard. Her guard. Yeah, yeah, but right. at the same time, it's Dave you Chappelle. Just, yeah, it is <laughs> like, Dave You know he's going to come with like, was something I crazy? Watching him growing up, he is crazy. If I was her, I would just I would have. If I honestly, if I was her, I would have laughed. I probably would have went up there and actually like and and eased the tension off of everything. Mm. Yeah, because you, you know the people are gonna be looking at you like Kylie Jenner. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right at you like <laughs> you're not gonna laugh. Ah, 
<laughs> so I just want to ease the tension, oh, man. Laugh it off. All right. And do, do we have breaking news? We or no? do have, do we have breaking, breaking news. news on the scoop. Breaking news. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So um, <laughs> reportedly, <laughs> this was so bad. Oh, my gosh. It's funny. It was funny. No, 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 no. Somebody posted a meme earlier today. And I'll share it with you, Deason. Yes. Um, that says D'Angelo Russell took uh. the Kalani and party next door picture. So, so in this meme, you see D'Angelo with a photo. <laughs> yes. Behind like, cracking to up, the I'm side sure. where Kalani and um, so Tyke's Angelo. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're showing it. Yeah, yeah they can see it. It's so like you guys like can see. So, it's, so it's, breaking news. Yeah. We just, bro- oh, we just broke funny. that yeah. on the screen. Fam. So we had to do that. No, but seriously, in all seriousness, um, suicide is like no joke. It is. If you guys not. are having issues with that, definitely Biden reach somewhere. out. Yeah, reach out to someone. There's some tons of um, help groups out there for you. Um, and people, please look talk to talk to your loved ones. Like, yeah. don't look for the signs, man. Yeah. Like, for real. It's, it's a real thing. You it's a real thing. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that is it for tonight's Scoop News. I am your host, Ashley Marie. Thank you for your undivided attention. <laughs> Thank All you right. for the news, Ash. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any social media buzz? Oh, today? yeah. Okay, so we there's so do. much exciting yes, things yes, going yes, on yes, in the yes. world of social media. Um, Nisa, are you, you're you really big on social media, right? Uh, yeah. So you do Snap. Yeah, I do Snap. You do Facebook. I do Facebook. You, t- you tweet. I tweet. You IG. I, IG. IG. Anything else? I... Uh, I Vine. Vine, I, yeah. I, I Tinder. I so T- swipe. My, do you have MySpace? I, You're on Tinder. I Bumble. I know. Do you still have a MySpace? Uh, my MySpace is active, but I don't. I don't touch it. All right. Well, they have some great things going on in the world of sh- social media. You, Linda, yes. you want to fill us in? Yes, on yes, that? yes. So okay. everybody, I'm sure, is using Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Everybody uses Snapchat. My baby brother uses Snapchat. All my friends. I'm sure everyone here uses Snapchat. So there's there's cool new filters that are out for people to use, and I'm yes. pretty sure everybody's using it. So we found a few celebrities who've been doing it, but before this show, Ashley and I actually got a chance to do what's called the face swap. Yeah, so we've, we been, playing, we we've been playing around with, with, the, with, the, with the new Snapchat <laughs> filters where, like, literally you're taking a side-by-side picture with whomever you're taking the SE with, and it swaps your face. So my face is on Linda's. Linda's face it's is on hilarious. mine. It's and hilarious. it's just so funny. And uh, the, w- what's the next one we have? We have the... I took one with Nisa. Oh, with Nisa. <laughs> and, yeah, Nisa <laughs> and With and ramen noodles. One. With that ramen one was hideous. I'm so that glad I'm terrible. not. Yeah. Hilarious. Nisa, not... You had dreads. Yeah, I had... That was not, that was not a good thing. <laughs> wow. Uh, we won't do that again. An Asian girl with dreads. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is... <laughs> I've seen it. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it. All right, and then what's what's next? We have the Kardashian sisters. We do have right? the Kardashian sisters, and they actually did they, a face. Swap. They got in on the face swap you know, action. They don't look too much different from each other because they're sisters. They, yeah, they look alike. It's actually really nice. Yeah, but you get a chance to see what it looks like if they swapped faces. And then next we and have next Scott and his son. Yeah, that's cute. That's so cute. That's but you cute. know what? That one wasn't even a face swap. You could totally tell that someone photoshopped, photoshopped that. it. But Maybe. it's hilarious. Yeah, it is hilarious, guys. And then we have uh, Kim Ye. <laughs> that's even more hilarious. Yeah, that's cute. Gotta look at her. She she actually looks sexy in guy clothes. Kim, she pulls it off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. She is. She, she is definitely is pulls it off. I don't know about girl. Kanye with Kim's. Face. <laughs> we won't. We won't speak any. We like Kanye here. I, on I the like scoop. Kanye, but I just. That, we need to that wasn't Kanye. a good one for him. It wasn't. It wasn't. No. Nisa, do you know Kanye? <laughs> Can you get him on the scoop? Um, that's one person I haven't met. You haven't met Kanye? I haven't. And I've been in the same, like... Social circles? No, but same room, same... Oh, wow. Same and, everything. It's and just you never, haven't. Yeah, it just never really clicked. Oh. Have you read his Book of Jesus? No, I'm kidding. Book of Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> just I will, kidding. I will never call him Jesus, ever. <laughs> You know, Kanye, oh, Kanye is so, so like, he's such an out-the-box thinker. Yeah, I, man, I, respect, I, lo- no, I respect it. I Man, I love Kanye. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. him. He's so. true to himself. He says what he says. And yeah. There's no filter with him. Right. And you, you have to appreciate that. Yeah, because, you know? uh, how real. can you not? It's like, real. It's, a, it's an amazing thing to be literally free. Like, yeah. nothing to hold you not back. Not feel, yeah. you know. He not doesn't beat He doesn't, push. yeah. That's one thing I can. He can care less. Absolutely. And you got to respect that. Yeah, I support it. Okay. All right, cool. So that that was our um, our Snapchat, our Snapchat social, media buzz. social media buzz 
of the week. We hope you guys enjoyed it. What is the name of that filter? So that way, if, if our listeners want to. It's a face swap. To, okay, so if you want to use it, it's on Snapchat. It's Actually, it's the very last filter right now. It's called Face Swap. Use it. It's fun. Use it with your parents. Use it with your kids. Use it with your friends. Your dog. Your dog. Your dog. Your dog. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, what's next on the agenda? Agenda. Do you... We have relationship tip of the week. Oh, yes. Relationship okay. tip of the week. Oh, so yeah, I, what's the tip of the week, Ashley? All right. Tell, so I'm filling me. all the ladies in. Sure. All Fill the, me in. Nisa, you can take notes I if note you want. Yeah, I gotta oh, write this oh, down. Oh. You <laughs> got his notepad out. <laughs> all right, guys. Make all sure right. you're tuning in. You're listening Pay to this. Pay attention. Yes. Okay. Ladies. So... This is for the la- ladies and gentlemen. Men okay. can, get, can get something out of this. Okay, I'm listening. So here <laughs> are some ways to get over a breakup like a grown ass woman or okay. like a grown ass man. Hmm. Oh, okay. According to Cosmopolitan magazine. Okay. So the first way is you either block or unfriend him or her on Facebook and other social media outlets. On all social okay. media. And, and here's why. Makes sense. Maybe you think you can be a strong, mature woman or man, and when you see those occasional updates from your, your ex, um, it doesn't bother you, or I can handle that. I, you know, he's he's not affecting me. But when you see it, it's actually like pouring salt on the wound. Mm. So mm. in the beginning stages of a breakup, it's probably best to unfollow them. Right. That way you're not reminded, guys. Yeah, you know the last thing you want to be is reminded. Neeson over here making church <laughs> memories. Neeson over here making church grunts. Right, so, like, so, uh. so, <laughs> what's going on? Tell us your thoughts, Neeson. Uh, uh, no, no, I, I, I agree. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. If you can't, if you can't handle, if you're, if somebody, bre- it's usually if somebody breaks up with you, um, they, you know, you should want to unfollow them instantly. Yeah, you, you know, you got to go through your seven stages of grievance. What so. about their friends? What if you became really good friends with their circle? I'm gonna get friends? into that. Uh, okay. oh. uh, we have we have a tip okay. for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait to the tip. Right, right, tip right, right, right. I, I, I got to yeah, hear this. Pretty... <laughs> we have a tip moving for that. Along. Okay, moving right along. Number two, mm-hmm. do not immediately agree or suggest to being friends after the breakup. Y'all are not friends after breakup. Um, because what? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. <laughs> If he suggests it, just let him know. Or if she suggests it, whoever the the person is that's breaking up with you, just let them know that you need some time to sleep on it. You may be tempted to agree to this because it'll make it seem like, hey, I'm not really affected by the relation by the you know breakup or by the relationship. I can handle us being friends. It's not such a big deal. But the truth is, it is affecting you, and you guys need time to kind of balance out your feelings, sort out those energies, and just make sure that when you do go into a relationship, or excuse me, when you do go into a friendship with them that it's based on a solid foundation mm-hmm. i agree with that so um that that's tip number two for you so just a comment about that tip okay. um i believe in like i'm friends with all of my exes except one okay right uh-huh. like just because but did you become friends with them right after you guys broke up like hey we're not together anymore that's that's what i was gonna say you do need you do need space mm-hmm. um yeah, let you, it breathe yeah you do need you do need an opportunity to to just make sure you get whole again mm-hmm. um but i feel like if a person like if you was dating somebody with uh, you know three four years and, it, and and you guys really had a strong relationship a strong friendship mm-hmm. then it should be no reason why you guys can't have that friendship moving forward um because that energy like it's a it's a rare thing to share uh, energy and space and time with somebody right That's true. like you just don't connect to everybody like that That's that deeply true. So I feel like, um, I, and I mean, I've always felt like this. Like my my high school girlfriend is getting married and pregnant now. <laughs> like, what? and I'm and I'm okay. Like, and and people are like always hitting like, are you? I'm like, yo, like I'm fine. Like I'm yeah, happy. Like I, I congratulate. Yeah, I congratulated on. both of them. Like I'm excited for them. You know, um, I'm gonna have to find out who this is. Uh, no, uh, we went they to know high each other for like 14 years. We don't have to talk about only this have on one, here. Only have one high school girlfriend. I'm gonna remember who. Only have one. I have to remember. I have to flip through the yearbook and see. Hey, Ramen. And Ramen, so thank you for saying that on my video. Uh, Just kidding. Is this <laughs> She's probably looking right now like... I'm taking a, making a video. Right. Like Russell. Yeah, sorry, I Russell. know, right? You did it er- Erica Erica probably looking right now like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm like, that's who it was. <laughs> but yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. She, yeah she's, I'm happy oh, for no. But yeah, everybody could be friends. You should all, you should be friends with people. I, I mean, if you shared that 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 special time with somebody, yeah. you should be friends with them. Just take your time. 
Okay. Um, tip, thank you, Neeson. Tip number three. If you feel the impulse to get drunk alone, call some friends instead. <laughs> Do not get drunk oh alone if gosh. you are going through a breakup. That's not that's not good. I mean, some bad things can happen. I, I know so many people that do that. <laughs> I know so many people that do that. And then they call you when they're drunk and they're just like this and that. And they and it's yeah, like, it's, it's a hot so You know what? Get it together. Oh, Let's man. talk after. <laughs> okay. Uh, Neeson has some stories. Nah, nah, Neeson yeah, has yeah, a toolbox nah, yeah, full funny. of them. Nah, nah, yeah, that's funny. Funny. that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Though. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. And um, let's see here. If you feel the impulse, this is kind of uh, an add on to number three. Number four, if you want to drunk text your ex, take your phone and throw it away, or you can throw it in a volcano. <laughs> but do, do not drunk text them, don't hit them with the sub. Or hey, or what you doing? What you doing? Where you at? How how you been? Don't don't do it. Don't do it because it's just. just then you're gonna be wondering you, like, yeah, dot 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 ellipses 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 ellipses. So don't do it. Okay, number five, begin an intense rage based workout. So you want to you want to. Sign up for your next uh, boxing class. You want to sign up for your next kickboxing class. Um, maybe some karate. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, just something that will help you to get physical and release all those negative energies right, from, the, it's from the relationship. For you guys, it is. Yeah, and uh, number six, you can always find a really cute rebound rebound girl or guy. Oh, Jesus, but just <laughs> if you do, take it slow. Like, don't you know? Don't rush into a whole nother relationship. You're still healing. So, um, Neeson, don't 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 find a rebound. Don't <laughs> I, I, don't I, I'm, rebound. That's the you only know? one I'm I'm honestly and wholeheartedly against. Have because, you heard? So good. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Mm-mm. Have you heard? heard? I like. Have you heard? Have uh, you heard? Have you heard? Go. No, I was gonna say. You know, they say the best way to replace bad habits is, is to with replace the them with the good ones, mm-hmm. with new ones. But there's better habits That's to replace true. it right, with I than agree. somebody else. That's true. But I, sometimes, sometimes depending on the situation, sometimes yeah. it's okay to confide in someone else mm-hmm. Un- if they if they understand that it's a friendship based so, so let me well, ask you this Nisa because uh-huh. you're against it yes and and I can kind of I feel like I'm reading you right now okay. I feel like you're against yeah. it because you're kind of putting somebody else at risk when you're yes. healing okay so that's fair so if you go into a situation like hey I'm recently out of out of a relationship and you disclose that at the beginning does it make it better I'm um, no because I mean just just because you disclose, um, you know, all your all your ill ailments and, and, and troubles doesn't mean it's not going to hurt the next person. Right. That's true. So because they because they may be open to it, and they may be fine mm-hmm. with it. But um, until they get their until feelings, until they get their feelings hurt. And then now that has to be on your conscience. That's and true. <clears throat> so I feel like whenever you, you know, you break up with somebody and it's usually some most of the times it's somebody there you could confide to and they feel blah 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 it's that friend zone person yeah and everything is all but I, I honestly feel like you need to become a whole first again mm-hmm. like you need to make sure that you're mentally you recognize the things the positive things that you did in a relationship and the things that you want to take on to the next one mm-hmm. and the bad things that you did in a relationship and what you want to leave mm-hmm. before you could move forward and yeah I mean not saying that person can't be it but it takes time and yeah, yeah, they yeah. have no, they I have to be patient yeah. yeah so in, in other words having complete closure from your past, mm-hmm. right? Before it, moving on to something, and I else. and I, to me that to me complete closure is when you could actually call your ex up, be like, hey, and not have any feelings, and it's just right. it's just platonic, right? Right, right, right. right, right. That's complete closure to me. A lot of people can't have platonic relationships. Uh, yeah, I is mean, that possible? Oh, that's a great conversation. Um, I, it's true. That's a great you topic. You don't think so? You don't? I, no, I, I, I'm, t- I'm telling you, a lot of people that, especially guys, I try to have just a friendship relationship, and they end up developing feelings and want mm. something more, and it's like. Oh. Well, I mean, guys are very simple creatures. Like all you have to do is nurture them, and they, I mean, they fall. In love. Yeah. Like it's a it's a simple thing. So the, the way to keep a guy strictly platonic is never natural. Oh, okay, that's it. That's good. Yeah, so I'm giving I'm giving away jewels. You, right you, now. You, you, you giving you? away jewels. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm You're sorry, messing all up for the guys. Said that, though. Huh? I'm glad that you said that for especially the ladies that are listening in yeah. tonight. You know that's important. You know you think having a random conversation or always yeah. you know 
no. talking to other people, you th- you don't think that that's going to, um, you know, lead on to other things. But people yeah. develop feelings. Yep, they you sure know? do. <laughs> they, I mean, they're not developed. Guys are always. It's they're waiting for the end. All like all the time. All the time, right? Mm-hmm. So if the end is usually when it's like. Oh, like, uh, you know, your guy friend's sick. It's like, oh, I'll get you some medicine. It's like, oh, sh- oh she got me some medicine. Mm. <laughs> She's uh-huh. like, oh, my God. Like, you know, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's little things like that. And, and if it's not a real understanding if he's in that place where it's like, like, guys usually, you if, know, if most of them are in that place mm-hmm. that's open. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, it's like, oh, okay. Like, maybe she likes me. And then you're like, no, I don't like it. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just sick. Being, I just yeah, want to give you some I'm medicine. I'm just being nice. <laughs> All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. So let's move on to number seven. Allow yourself oh, wow, time to cry. So it's okay to cry. Yes, Shed them tears. Fine. You have to. All right, so this number eight goes into what you were just saying a little while ago. Okay. If you get a Facebook invite from your from his best friend's, um, to his best friend's party, excuse me, um, you are probably tempted to go. Like, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get fly. Let me get fly and show him what he's missing. Up a bit. But according to Cosmo.com, they're saying don't do it. Yeah. You may want to go look and fly and and make him miss what he, you know, what he messed up. <laughs> but um, during the fresh phases of a breakup, it's just gonna peel off the scab. Mm-hmm. So don't do it. You don't need to see his face. Mm-hmm. Um, and then number nine, don't scheme to get him back. Don't scheme to get back at him. None of that. But scheme to get yourself back. So focus on yourself. Focus on building a new life. Focus on being a better you. Um, and number 10, you can write him some heartbreak letters or her. You can write heartbreak letters. Just don't, Just don't send, send them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Just That's do not cute. send them. Or heartbreak songs. Yeah, either. don't 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 do it. Well, if it's a good song, Have you, done that you make some money. What? Is that a confession? Um, yes, I've mm-hmm. each, I, I, some of my best material is relationship based, uh-huh. and I make the best music when I'm going yeah, through relationships. Yeah, anybody stuff. does though, because those are yeah. real. You feelings do too, at Linda. That time, yeah, yeah. Those are those are feelings at that time. You can't mm-hmm. relive those feelings. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So you, you know? so you have yeah. to write when you're in that mode that stage so it was a point where I was completely happy Mm -hmm. like I was happy with everything Mm -hmm. like everything in my life was amazing and your music and I couldn't make any dope music (laughs) I agree and I was like man I I just wish I had my and I didn't have a girlfriend at the time and I was just like oh man I wish I had my heart broken or something Uh huh. did you find yourself trying to create drama no, don't do I that. didn't. I was no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I I don't. I like know women drama. that do that. Don't yeah. yeah, yeah. No, don't, don't do like that. that. But yeah. I didn't have a girlfriend, so I was like, oh man, I wish I had a girlfriend. I get my heart broken, right? Uh, <laughs> like, and I would just say this, right? And then, um, you know, happens. energy happens, and the universe makes a way, and then I have a girlfriend, and I get my heart broken, uh, and then now no. <laughs> I start breaking. But then I look back, and I was like, God damn, I wish for this like three years. ago. Yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> like. This is dumb, but I I literally I'm so in touch. A lot of people aren't in touch with their their really feelings or emotions or anything mm-hmm. like that. I'm not saying like I don't cry or anything mm-hmm. like that, but it just and but nothing you know wrong who, with crying. You yeah, know nothing who wrong with crying, are. guys. Yeah, I just I know. So um, now any little thing that as far as like em- emotions when it comes to a female, like I could I could gear it towards a song. Mm. You know, like it's like if if I really cared about somebody and then it takes me back all day, it's like oh just. <laughs> now I'm upset. I'm gonna write a song right, about it, you know? Right, right. Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay. We're almost done. Number 11. God, this is a lot. Look, I'm trying, trying to spoil you. We're trying to help you, trying trying to help you out. Okay, fellas. And All ladies. right. <laughs> Avoid posting the details. About your breakup on social media. Mm-hmm. Lord Jesus, we can all I clap agree. to that. I, I, I can't. Just stop that, it. That's like my biggest thing. It is embarrassing. Uh, you are embarrassing yourself. Please and then, stop. Uh, and then it's worse. When the other party does it, everyone else hits you up like, what's going on? <laughs> you know? And then and then it gets worse. I know people, actually, I've experienced this before. They would have their friends or their friends' girlfriends hit them up like, hey, you know, see, see what's going on. You know, yeah, ask, yeah, yeah, yeah. but right. beating around the bush, right. not really get, right. asking for the details, right. yeah. but beating around the bush. Like, hey, oh, how are you even, doing? And we talked about this last week, too, but even like posting the subliminals, you guys, please stop. I like we all know. Look, would you, would you, 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 I'm trying. Might to as stop. well just the, flat out say it. The minute you post a, that you're in a relationship, it's only two things people care about: when you guys break up, and when you guys gonna take it to the next step. There that's you go. true. That's it. That is so true. And which both of those things are none of anybody else's business. Mm-hmm. So I always like I'm not I'm not a guy that'd be like don't post me, don't post mm-hmm. our relationship. But I'm gonna just be like, look, 
if you invite everybody into you invite you open that door yeah it's gonna be, be ready yeah be ready you know so that's why again protect your sanity people Jeez. and then there's yeah. one more thing i want to touch base on this mm-hmm. too since you're on the topic about relationships if you're going through something don't confide in other people don't confide in you know outside sources yeah that are irrelevant to the relationship that are not your friends yeah. or your right, family right. Right. because they can what happens is they end up um dictating and kind of just changing um what you really feel and that's right. not fair yeah so keep that in mind guys I, I wouldn't do that all right cool number 12 neeson is there yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> you guys are the shit. ones. You guys like, are the ones like ah. I think la, 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 I think la, 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 the person la, la, la. the person to be drunk <laughs> by the time reading this, they're gonna be drunk already. They're All like, right, well, drink good. It by themselves. Good, that's perfect. That's <laughs> perfect because <laughs> number twelve advises you to take a bath, <laughs> take baths and pamper yourself. Oh, Maybe buy some luxurious like bubble that. baths, bath salts, Shoes. candles, etc. Spa. It feels good to treat you. yourself how a man's supposed to treat yeah. you. Exactly. All right, number thirteen. This is the last one. <laughs> Stop blaming yourself. You guys could have both done something different to make the relationship work. You both contributed to its demise. It happened. Things happen. But leave it alone. Agreed. It's no one's fault wholly. Each party played a part. Okay? And that's it for your scoop relationship tip of the week. I am your host, Ashley Marie. And uh, I think we're going to go to break. Yeah, let's take a break. Yeah, let's take a break. And you're now going to listen to actually one of Kalani's songs, speaking of Kalani. Okay. And this is one of my favorite songs by her, especially what she's going through right now. It's called Be All Right. I'm going to be all right. By all right. Enjoy the song, guys. I'm just human. You got to feel that. We're all just here to learn And every day we all put up to that If you're feeling down, know you ain't alone And if you're feeling all confused Know you are not on your own Yeah, we're too blessed Someone told me, babe, when the tide is high You just get low Hold your breath
be all right. I like that be song. Be all right, be all right. Okay, I love that song. All right, boo. I really hate you. singers, man. Y'all sing like Why? just when you breathe. It's cause, man, I can't sing like that. Like, oh, okay, I can only. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> just I can only sing when you know it's a chorus behind me or something. Oh, well, when place. you need. The singer, you know. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys I, I, Yeah, no, up. I did an Instagram stalk. I was like, oh, she sings. Okay, cool. He did an Instagram stalk. <laughs> Lightweight. Yeah, you got it. Everyone yeah. does that. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Well, um, again, you are tuned into The Scoop. I am your host, Ashley Marie, here with Linda Yin. Guys, welcome back. Thank and you for our tuning in. special in studio guest. Introduce yourself. Oh, um, Neeson, I guess. Since we're we going won't do by, the government. Yeah, we want to go by my whole name, but Neeson, yes. <laughs> Neeson. That's, All that's, right. That's, that's me. Ramen. All right, Ramen. Neeson. Well, tell us Neeson. a little bit. Tell everybody about yourself. Like, who are you? How did you end up here? Where'd you come from? Why do you do the things you do? What made um, you start? <laughs> well, I'm, my name is Neeson. Okay. Uh, I ended up here because Bill and Tina smanged um, they some, smanged. some <laughs> time in around, I think, like Thanksgiving or Christmas and <laughs> had me in August. <laughs> so, uh, too. Yeah, see, there you go. See, oh, Leo Lord. Power. I'm Leo. You're a Virgo. You're a Virgo. Virgo. Hey, I'm a Virgo. They call me a Lurgo. A Lurgo. Oh, wow. What date? A, a legal with Virgo tendencies or something. A le- like no, so you're a, a Virgo cut. with legal tendencies. On the cut. That's what, what they say. What date? August 31st. Oh, no, you're a solid Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse but, me? Yeah, sorry. I don't want to hear about you anymore. <laughs> Jeez. He's cut, I'm sorry. Cut. No, I'm kidding. I'm a. Um, uh, I'm an artist, so that consists of rapping, uh, acting, producing, painting, um, screenwriting, uh, d- d- directing, um, mm-hmm. every form of artistry I've done. Nice. Um, and yeah, man, I see. I'm here because I knew you for what, like 15, 13 years yeah. or something like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's and, why you're and, here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Why that, is here. that that answer? When, what, when, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah who, you what, did. When, I think yeah, you covered it. it all. Okay, so let's start with your rapping because yes. you started off in a group, right? I I did start off. I started off in a group. Yes. Okay, so tell me about that. Um, well, I mean, I started off in this. It was this school crew called King or Cream, Cream. Crew. Cash was everything around me. Crew. I remember uh, that. Everything and they were serious yeah. about this. Oh Yo, man, it was it was serious. Like they used they used to try to like this gang click whatever called block used to try to like jump us and like <laughs> really. But it was like yeah. <laughs> but it was like only me and my boy Craig like that. <laughs> that was in the crew that was at the school. So and oh, we no. hung around nothing but girls, and they used to hate that. And um, <laughs> they used to call us gay, which is weird. They like, did. Hey, oh yeah, we used to get all the, all the time. Like, I'm like, how is? I'm like, girls. so you would rather hang around guys in basketball shirts at lunchtime than hang around a bunch of girls? Hey. Like, that was <laughs> dumb. But yeah, so I mean, that that's what it started. And I started producing. I used to sell CDs. Um, back in the days, <laughs> sell CDs is crazy. <laughs> I used to sell CDs, but at the end of the CD, I will put my own music. Mm-hmm. At the end of the CD, right? And um, I would sell CDs to my boy Craig, and he was like, "Yo, like." <laughs> what what is this <laughs> like what, what's at the end of this i'm like oh you know i rap and i produce a lot and he's like oh dope that. so that's kind of how it all started and then um it, it it was seven of us and we used to work out of my garage and i used to I learned, taught myself how to mix and everything and then it basically got to the core of it where it was just me and craig our goal was to be this west coast wu-tang mm-hmm. and we started doing shows but everybody else wasn't serious so me and craig took it serious and um we booked a couple of shows and met different people, and that was called YC and Black, mm-hmm. and that manifests itself into I met my my big brother Dane from Wild Bunch, mm-hmm. um, and we made YRF, and now it's YRF Music, and it's a band and with a female drummer, a guitar player, How bass player. How cool blah, blah, is blah. that? Nice. Yeah, drummer and part, you guys though. do a lot of performances, right? We do. Yeah, we 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 toned it back a little bit. Um, <clears throat> because we wanted to focus on the music and I started acting. I did two musicals and then one play. Okay. And then uh Craig had a kid and so we we wanted to we just didn't want to put out music because a lot of artists just put out music. Right. right. And we're very active. We're, yeah, we're very old yeah. school with like making a, a album um sound cohesive and mm-hmm. making it a theme and mm-hmm. with skits and making it mean something. Blah, blah, blah. So um, we took a break, and then right after I got done, we started working on the uh, the Charisma project that came out um, last summer. So our Charisma DJ Charisma project came out. Young California, what, All yeah, right, and cool. that took that took a like that took like a year and a half to really mm-hmm. make. So, nice. Yeah. Well, why don't we um, speaking of your music? Why don't we get into one of your songs? Okay. Um, I want to check out Tag Team. <laughs> okay. Is that cool? That's fine. All right. So we're gonna check out. Why don't you introduce it really quick? 
Um, so I'm a big, I'm a wrestler, and I'm actually a wrestling fan. So that's how this song concept came up, and we just wanted to go back and forth some old hip hop, some old hip hop vibes. Here's YRF with tag team. I get the kill switch, return it a real bitch. I'm riding around now, my pockets a little thick. Looking for a bad chick to cruise to the town with. Yeah, I'm a sad bitch whenever I tag it. It ain't nobody cold, it might give a pneumonia. When I hit the corner, I've been sure to sown you, but no, I don't want her unless I put it on her. Yeah. The homies know about the function. I got an urge to floss and shit like all of a sudden. Fuck it, let's pull up and do a little that stuntin'. Roll a couple backwards like it really ain't nothing. Real niggas in the house, house. You niggas better go on like a spouse down. Before I end up all under her blouse somehow. And if I hit it, no, she coming back around. She coming back around. It's real in the shoot. Whole squad glowing up, so we live in the shoot. Who you with in the shoot? Girl, look and think I'm trying to leave with the shoot. It's real in the shoot. Whole squad glowing up, so we lit in the shoot. Who you with in the shoot? Girl, look and think I'm trying to leave with the shoot. I got her open like windows. I told her get undressed, hop in the shower, and then pose. Then roll up some endo just to free your mind. Yeah, I got her on in vogue. I like my pussy. Fresh as a mint. I'm trying to see what it hit for. Hit it and get goes. Have you hitting keys like my dick was a cleft No High key, low key. Hoes that know me know I'm OG, young G, O, D. <laughs> your dogs, I'm Glenn Close. I'm lit with my kin folks. She told me bust a rhyme. Shit, I told her to flip mode. She fucking the be seen. I'm grinding to get dough. I pass her the black But pee. do we love these hoes? Nah, dog, it's a no, no. She jump in the dick, her nickname is the Pogo. I pass it to the click now, her name is the house phone. I'm getting passed around like a stock in the Dow Jones. <laughs> yeah. It's real in the shoot. The whole squad glowing up, so we lit in the shoot. Who you with in the shoot? Girl, look and think I'm trying to leave with the shoot. It's real in the shoot. The whole squad glowing up, so we lit in the shoot. Who you with in the shoot? Girl, look and think I'm trying to leave with the shoe. You down with OPP, yeah, you know me. On that Kush OG, make me OD. On that P-U-S-S-Y, so you your friends come by. You down with OPP, yeah, you know me. On that Kush OG, make me OD. On that P-U-S-S-Y, so you your friends come by. It's real in the shoe. The whole squad glowing up, so we lit in the shoe. Who you with in the shoe? Girl, look and think I'm trying to I'm actually shooting this shoot. video uh, oh. in a couple of weeks. Oh, you guys are? Yeah, I have to meet with the director tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who are just t- tuning in, you are tuned in to The Scoop oh, with yeah. Ashley Marie. Yeah. And Linda Yin, guys, thank you for coming back. We are in studio right now with Neeson, uh, one one half of the uh, YRF. One, one piece. One oh, one piece of, one piece of YRF. Um, that was his latest song. Tag team. Tag team. Yes. All right. So you. So you said you're. You're just uh, meeting with the video director tomorrow. Yeah. 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 The, uh, Ken. Uh, Ken Michael. Mm-hmm. Amazing director. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. We worked with him before, but he, we're doing a pure wrestling video. Wait. Really? So pure everybody's wrestling? gonna be wrestling? Yeah. Me and Craig is gonna be a tag team. And we're gonna be wrestling and like a tag team. Getting wow. our. That's crazy. Beat. Yes. Oh, so you guys are gonna get beat at? Yeah, um, I'm the only one that's a trained wrestler. Uh, I mean, not me and Craig, so I will be getting my butt beat the most. But uh-huh. um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna that be fun. Should be it's gonna be funny. a fun. Yeah, it's gonna I be think, a fun video. I think that'll be really cool for you. I mean, considering that you wrestle, yes, and tag team. I mean, what other tag team can you think of outside of wrestling? Ex- like freeze tag or something, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> tag your it or tra- track like when you're when you're passing. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, they don't tag. Oh, <laughs> they just passed. Them. I tried. Yeah, <laughs> he's like I tried to get in on tag. this. Oh, but it's funny. Only every time somebody sees tag team, they think of me and Craig. They think of something bad. So I'm like, right. I thought of that. See, in my mind. See, I was like, these nasty. That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, yo, like we're not, we're civilized human beings, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see this face? Like, I would. Ne- come on. Oh God. Come on. Oh Lord. I'm a nice mercy. guy. I got morals, guys. Come on. I don't believe it. <laughs> I do. At, at at any rate. <laughs> At any rate, well, good luck I'll let you live. Video. Yeah, I, you I can't let wait. Us know when it comes out. Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, you, you can come do, debut it here. You I and will, Craig, I, I want will, you guys both. We come. will be in here, and we probably most likely have a wrestling match in here. Us oh two together. Oh my god, is, is, that is, would be insane. so hilarious. Us two together, is and and Craig's pretty thin, so uh, yeah. he's just tall. Yeah, I mean, can't don't play it. Craig put on some muscles. He did. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Craig, if you're watching, Craig. no shade. <laughs> How long has no it been seen Craig? Oh, it's been a long time. <laughs> like I said, a so lot happens in some time. That's that's true. He, he could have put on some. He could have got yoked up. <laughs> 
He's probably gonna be like, Ash, really? He's gonna eat his Wheaties. <laughs> Play me on good. live on yeah. air. <laughs> I mean, well, plus we gotta have like our shirts off and stuff in the video. So I told him, I'm like, yo, like, you need to, uh, we need, <laughs> we really gonna go full gonna speed to, with right, this. You know, you're gonna have so, to think about whey protein. Yeah, we gotta get hard. <laughs> but yeah, Craig, yeah, Craig's good, man. He's always been a naturally buff guy, skinny buff guy. <laughs> In a skinny buff kind yeah, of way. Skinny buff kind of way. <laughs> okay. That's good. Is there any other way to describe this man? Uh, I was just saying because you guys kept saying skinny bro you don't have to no. to that I was, <laughs> I was teasing saying, I was teasing uh, if you, if Gumby, you mean Gumby above, I call it Gumby that's, this is wrong Gumby that's the perfect way to describe it I don't know him but I'm telling that, this is all stuff this I tell wrong. him to his face anyway you know he's probably mad right now sorry uh, Craig we love you Craig <laughs> I don't know Craig I'm sorry I All right. Speak for these two so, people. so now I know. Let's. I want to kind of dive into your yes. your acting career a okay. little bit. Um, I know you said you've done two musicals recently. Uh yes. I'm in. I'm in Mad Two Mad Cities right now, and I've okay. done Flashing Lights. Okay. So tell me about Two Mad Cities. What is that? Two about? Mad Cities. Um, there is a musical based off of Kendrick Lamar and J Cole's music. Oh wow. So, um, it's a very powerful powerful play for the culture and just for the generation mm-hmm. nice. um it's uh i play a character named nick it's the lead character's best friend mm-hmm. that tries to lead him down the wrong path mm-hmm. okay which is funny because like i'm not that guy like yeah <laughs> like, you're playing a role now. that you're really not but like yeah like come on now. but yeah, um that, that makes it all the more interesting it does yeah. yeah man and i mean the lead character which is um which is played by earl and earl williams and he's amazing like amazing actor like okay. it's it's really dope to feed off his energy in because he gets locked in and you either got to sing or swim you know and right, it, right. Uh, it's written and directed by Brandon Rainey um and he's an amazing writer like it's just a blessing to be a part of this cast that people from they could sing like these i mean some of them are kids and they just like could blow like, yeah. Right. Out of like, nowhere. where did that come from? Dance and I blow, love seeing yeah. dancing, that. blowing, and I'm and I got to keep up with that. Like, you know, like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not yeah, a singer not a by singer. trade. Yeah, like, we heard her. right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> singer. Just, Linda yeah. just threw shade at you. Right. You're not. Yeah, we're not a singer. Whole tree down. down. But I could write a mean R and B record. Hey, there you matters. go. See? <laughs> we got to put them through some emotions exactly, first, see? though. But it's yeah, it's it's an amazing thing. Um, and Flashing Lights was the first. Uh, Brandon Rainey did that one as well, and that was a music based around Kanye West play music that was a yeah, musical so, based around kind of wow. music. and yeah, um decent. so that that play was just basically a coming in age story about a kid that you know he he didn't know he wanted to be a star and he was stuck in school and he had all these problems and um basically he just takes this journey and he becomes he lives that life and he sees it then he crashes oh he, my gosh and then he wakes up and he sees that you know hey it wasn't uh what it he wasn't all was what he thought, be. you know. Let's finish school. Let's let's work on a real a real career, you know. Oh wow! So um, both but both plays were powerful, and I did a play called Hello America, which wasn't a musical, which was a straight seven man one act play. Oh, and that was that was probably uh, the most um, vulnerable. I've ever been because I had to have my shirt off and you gotta wow. you gotta act you gotta be passionate. It's it's one acts are just you and the stage exactly. You know, so um, you, you're almost up there with six other guys, but at the same time, you still everybody has their moments and you, somebody has to act up. You know, at certain times. Mm-hmm. So um, but that play was it was basically about being a black a young black male in America and all the different things that we go through, like all wow. the different struggles of you know. When I said earlier, I don't cry, but you know, like you can't cry. Like mm. you, black men aren't you strong? You can't cry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't. You're um, built to be. Strong. Yeah, you're built to be strong. You're built mm-hmm. to deal. You you're built to be beaten. It. You know, that's mm-hmm. basically what it is. Mm-hmm. And so, um, it was a part like that. That play, like <laughs> at the end of it, sometimes we were crying in the back because you you're just so worked up and so mad. Yeah, and it pulls a lot out of you. It's oh, probably oh, a very cathartic right. experience. I, I got a concussion on that play. <laughs> I think the last you did? one. Yeah, because how'd uh, that happen? We we were walking. The last scene is a boxing scene, like this montage. So we're all in our boxing gear, and then um, I didn't wear shoes that day because I forgot my I forgot my athletic shoes. Okay. So I had on socks during the scene, and um, I was walking off in the back, and somebody jumped on my back, mm-hmm. and my feet slipped Ooh. up under me because they jumped on my back, and they thought they're like, oh, I'm like I could hold you, stupid. right, right, like, right. But I took a step, and so my and heel just slipped, slipped. Oh, no. and I fell. And all their body like smashed, so um, oh, that's right. I had to do. Uh, I had to come back for curtain call 
Mm-hmm. And we had it, and all I remember was everything was blurry and the lights, and like I couldn't, I couldn't see anything. Mm-hmm. And like really they called my name, that? and it was ringing. It was bad. Yeah, it was. Oh bad. my gosh. Yeah, I had a couple of questions before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like I've been through this before. Yeah, yeah it's bad. All right, cool. Yeah, cool, that's cool. acting. That's acting. That's my acting life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to get into your next song because we are running short on time, but oh, yeah. I want to show you all the love that we possibly can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So- um and. Uh, well, you want to do? Videos. You want to do? Yeah, you got a couple videos too. So I'm, I'm like torn right now. I don't know if I want to do a song. Um, we don't care. We don't care. You want to? We don't care. Let's do. We don't care. Yeah, All right, let's let's do, let's do. We don't care. We don't care. That's your video. That's my video. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Do you want me to pitch to it? Do you want me to explain it to it? I don't know. What you, you, can, to... you can give us a little, little um, bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't care. It's it's actually it's probably my second favorite song I've ever done. I produced it. I wrote it. It's um. It's basically it's a f the system type of song mm. and it, it's telling you you know people want to knock you for living your dreams but live your dreams like don't don't put a middle finger to them like right. live life you know not saying drink responsibly but like live <laughs> life put a drink up put a middle finger here and do what you got to do man do and you wanted to yeah and and live that dream like yes. that and that's what we don't care is for mm-hmm. so it's very fun song videos fun and it, it feels good yeah. we can't all wait right. to see it cool all right well let's check it out um, here is YRF with We Don't Care. Why, we don't F- care. I like, I like. Meet Craig and Neeson, two aspiring rappers who can't seem to get out of their dead end job that pays the bills. And with a boss like Peter, it doesn't seem like this situation could get any worse. You gotta hurry up on that because it's not gonna get, get done in time. It's right. That is until one day, one elderly Samaritan can hold his tongue. Live now while you're young. Take chances. Live your dreams, okay? Were the old man's words enough? Will Craig and Neeson be able to party as good when they're old? Tune in next week. Raise your glasses. Here's to life. Here's to no regrets and forgetting tonight. The mistakes that we make. Out the gate, you should know that we don't care. This song's for the drunk white girls that it's scared to say. Yeah, <laughs> when the song comes on, and this song's for the drunk black girls in the corner rolling weed up. When the song comes on, yeah. everybody about that life, right? Yeah. So tonight it's going down, right? Yeah. So let's toast to tomorrow and pray on a past, hoping this moment could last. Cause they want us to study 200 and something weeks just to make. 210 a week In two years you would get a 10% increase Definition of America's dream And that ain't fair Hell no And they don't care Hell no So we don't care So put your middle fingers up in the air Yeah, now everybody sing Raise your glasses Here's to life Here's to no regrets and forgetting tonight The mistakes that we make Out the gate You should know that we don't care On the side, try to judge your life, judge your life. And this song's for that person with their middle finger at them saying, Fuck your life, fuck your life. I may fall, but I'm, I have a ball, middle finger to them all. If they say that I'm wrong, to think living a dream is not within my reach. And all that they can see is alcohol and hella weed, though. Even though it's alcohol and hella weed, though. Mistakes we make out the gate of carefree, though. And through those lessons, we gon' learn and succeed, though. Till they raise your glasses and repeat. Tonight, the mistakes that we make out the gate, you should know that we don't care.
We've gotten a couple noise complaints. Uh, oh, what's going on up here? All right. You are tuned into the scoop. That was We Don't Care. Why our F's? We don't care. We don't care. Yes. Put we your middle fingers care. up in the air. Put your middle fingers up in the air. Yep. Okay, I am Miss Ashley Marie, and I'm here with Linda Yen, Linda Yen yes. and Neeson. Thank you for uh, sharing that. We don't care video. No problem. Y'all, I, y'all I, I, just hope, I hope somebody goes out there and puts a middle finger to the to the authority and and does what they want to do legally, legally, not legally, guys. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, legally. Come on, guys. Now this hashtag legally. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> follow the rules. Now you do a lot of work with um, kids, right? You do yes. a lot of. Um, like inspirational work with children. T- tell us a little bit about um, that. Yeah, so I try to help out. Uh, I help out at the the center as much as possible, or um, just as far as like producing in young artists mm-hmm. um, or mentoring young artists. Uh, mm-hmm. Trying to, I-, I love to see people live out their dreams. Like mm-hmm. it really makes me feel happy. It puts yeah. a smile on my face. So yeah. if I have just a little part of that, I know that. Um, you know that little part of helping them succeed is is enough for me. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I have a I have one of my one of my dearest friends. She's uh she just got a she just booked her her first real gig as a musical. She's on Dream Girls Traveling Tour. <gasps> wow, how fun is that? But the first time she recorded, she has the most amazing amazing neo soulful voice mm. I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Right, and I heard her um about four or five years ago, and I was like, yo, I got to get her in the studio. And it was her first time in the studio. Taught her how to record. Taught her to make a song. And now she's making these amazing songs. Mm-hmm. And like she and I don't never take it. She's just like yeah. And Nisa he helped me record and taught me how to learn. I'm just uh. like I'm like you don't never have to tell anybody that but i'm just i just love like hearing her growth and seeing it because she deserves like she just deserves it like her talent alone that the god and creator has given her is just amazing Mm. so yeah i mean just little stuff like that i I love oh yeah they her name is faith james she hates when i call her faithy but whatever um shout out faith james (laughs) but uh yeah man it's just little stuff like that i love it like it makes it it just makes the world better like you know like Mm -hmm. somebody sharing her talent definitely definitely i agree with you it's so important to make sure we inspire and motivate absolutely people around us Absolutely. It definitely That's the best is. thing you can do for someone. Yeah, it is. I, I really, I mean, seeing somebody, seeing what they, the potential that they could be and helping them to that mm-hmm. is, right. is the most amazing thing. Right, right, right. Um, so who, ha- has anyone been like super inspirational in your, on your journey, on your path? Like who do you kind of look up to or, or credit for my your, num- success, your, my, your success? My number one, my number one, uh, I guess my number one inspiration or number one mentor is my uncle. Okay. Um, he's more like a big brother because he's only like eight, ten years older than me. But mm-hmm. he's um, he's he used to be Puff's personal assistant um, mm-hmm. for seven years, which turned out he's like one of Puff's best friends now. He developed. I don't know if that show. I wouldn't work for Diddy. I don't know if you guys used to heard that show. Oh VH, yes, VH1. He developed uh-huh. that. He's a TV and film producer. Okay. Um, now he works with JB with Justin Bieber. Uh, but he does so like he's done so much for me mm-hmm. and um instilled so much in me mm-hmm. that I can that is I couldn't even repay him. Like Aww. it's nothing I can do. But I mean he knows he hates hearing it. But, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, he's he's truly an amazing guy. Aww. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he hates it. Just kidding. Shout out to Uncle too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Uncle, Uncle Williams. Uncle, Uncle Pops. Nah, it's Uncle, Uncle his name is uh his last name's Pops, so Uncle Pops. Uncle Pops. Yeah. All right, shout out to that. Okay, so like I said, I wanna give you guys as much shine as possible. We just turned this into a whole white RF yeah. thirty minute segment. <laughs> um so I want to get into really quick because we only have a few minutes and we may be only we yeah. may only be able to uh play a little bit of it. But uh I wanted to get into do what it a video. Yeah, your video. Okay. Uh quick synopsis to do with it real quick. Really quick. Okay, so yeah, we just did that video. Um for i wanted to show a video with the girls having the power like girls usually the girls are the accessories and the guys are in the back but t- we are the accessories bringing the girls the yes. girls Girl the girls power. the girls are First they, they in, we wanted to give them the, we wanted to empower them with the power to actually be the video be the stars be in front and be sexual and be whatever you want it to be be that be what you want to be Let it mm-hmm. all and so um that's what that video is for so before anybody right. sees it that's all like the yeah probably all right, no, it must be Let's crazy. Let's get into a little bit of oh, it's it. Fun. It's fun. <laughs> Eason's video, Do With It. Do With It.
and bottles and pussy stay popping. We up in this bitch going up like a rocket. So tell me what's the topic? But the kamikaze ass, she gon' kill it when you drop it. So don't stop, don't stop, girl. Go ahead, keep twerking shit. Whole crew on that hammer time. Yeah, yeah, too legit to quit. She high as hell, I'm tryna fuck us over. On the sofa, my penny lopers, then import it, then record it, then waterboard it, then I cord it, then cheat code it. You know, back, back, forth, forth, up, down, sonic, boom. Are you coming through? <laughs> Go ahead, girl, twerk some, go and work some like a nine to five, put in overtime. See that ass looking like it's in overdrive. Oh my. Yo, stop, girl, go ahead, keep twerking shit. Whole corn and hammer time. Yeah, yeah, to the jet to quit. Yo, 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 stop, girl, go ahead, keep twerking shit. Whole corn and hammer time. Yeah, yeah, to the jet to quit. Goddamn, you fine, girl, I'm trying to see what you do with it. Nissan's do with it. And for Get those of you show. who are joining the show really late, you're now tuned into the scoop on air. Make sure you're not late next time. Yeah, you'll be real late. <laughs> right. Nice video, by the way. Thank you. I like Thank the concept you. and how you have the woman up front. That's, do with it. That's how, it's, that's it. how it should be. Get comfortable in your skin. Be you. Oh, yes. absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. Well, Nissan, we we appreciate you coming on to the show. Appreciate you. This, this is amazing. On air. Thank you. You, right. guys, you guys are dope. You guys right. have dope vibes. Right. Dope well, your music and Thank everything you. that you do is dope. Oh, so how can we let our fans, our viewers follow <clears throat> you or where can they find your music? Um, YRF Music, M-U-Z-I-K, everything. So YRF Music on Instagram, YRF Music on Twitter. Um, YRF Music on Facebook and yeah and if you want to follow me personally it's Stay Fly Life if you want to follow Craig personally it's Full Time F Up right so you guys heard it <laughs> why <laughs> Music Craig, if we're going to have to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> it's a song it's a song guys. <laughs> and guys if you are interested in being on the scoop on air yes. with us or if you know anybody who'd be interested in either being a co-host or being interviewed make sure you hit us up on our gmail it's the scoop on air at gmail.com go ahead and send us your information we'll do any screening we'll book you as soon as we do have someone available now if you're looking to follow me you want my information I am on Instagram as Aylin that's A-Y-E-L-I-N underscore again that's A. Aylin, A-Y-E-L-I-N underscore for Aylin. Instagram. Facebook, I'm under Aylin. Linda Aylin Yen. And Twitter, I'm also under, I'm actually, Twitter, I'm actually under Scoop Linda. All right. Funny, right? Go scoop me. It's very professional. <laughs> I know, scoop me. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that, Linda. And you can follow me on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Ashley Bowden, and on Instagram, Ms. Ashley Marie, M-I-Z-Z, Ashley Marie traditional all the way um i'm on twitter as well uh ashley marie 0422 i need to get my step my snapchat game up though i, I gotta <laughs> yeah, step that you up do, that, that, was, that was that was my first snapchat. on snapchat i just don't know my snapchat name like, how do I do the same yeah i don't know how to do it so at any rate we appreciate all of you guys tuning in really quick i want to shout out some people um, I want to shout out all of our listeners that are like all over the country. We have listeners in Dallas. So shout out to Dallas. Shout, shout out, out to WrestleMania's in Dallas. Shout out to yeah. Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to our yeah. Dallas yeah. listeners. We have some listeners out of Ohio. Shout out to you guys. We appreciate Philly, you. Yeah. Uh, listeners Philly in Philly. Philly. Oh, yeah. We have some listeners in Philly, Philly too. <clears throat> um, also, um, we want to shout out uh, Dwayne Wiggins of Tony, Tony, Tony. He Yay. just shared our show. So we love you for that. Thank, Thank you. you. All love. <laughs> All right. And I want to shout um, out one last person. Go ahead. Yeah. If you're listening to the scoop and you're hearing these instrumentals that go along during our segments, that's actually by Anthem Music. So big shout out to Anthem Music for making the music shout for us. Music. Shout out Anthem. Anthem. Music. You can look them up as Anthem Music as well. I know, Anthem you guys got a, I know you guys got a minute left, but I have to shout out uh, my R&B group, Lady X, that just got signed a couple of weeks ago. Working on there, just did a record for them today. So oh, shout out Lady X, shout out yes. Lady Draw Squad, yes. Dame Ish, all y'all, love y'all. Just All right. Shout out Lady X. Congratulations, ladies. Out Lady X. 
I gotta get them up here. I was gonna say they have to stop by the studio. I will. will. We'd love to have them on. All right, right, you guys. This has been another week of the Scoop on Air with Ashley Marie and Linda Yin. We appreciate you guys. Check us out every Wednesday. We are your one stop for all things love, lifestyle, and relationships. Again, I am Ashley Marie, Linda Yin, Neeson. Thank you for joining us tonight. No problem. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week at seven thirty p.m. We love you. She knows she the best thing in my life. She the best thing in my life. But she the worst man that's on my life. I love her, I love her, and hate her, and hate her. And even though she ain't my type, she always make a nigga wanna think twice before I leave her, leave her, cause I need her. She got me thinking twice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. She got me thinking twice.